Hospitals are one of the most important public facilities in the world today because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Without them, we can never imagine the magnitude and severity of COVID cases all over the world today. However, COVID-19 is only one of the many problems people face in this pandemic. Natural disasters like flooding would not stop just because of the pandemic. Flooding could still reach hospitals, jeopardize their operations, and severely affect the people they serve. An example is the Philippine General Hospital in Metro Manila, Philippines, which experiences flooding during the monsoon season. Engineer Danilo Metrillo of Philippine General Hospital he speaks about the rampant flooding that cripples the efficiency of the hospital. Ang mga pasyente natin talagang nahihirapan lumabas at pumasok sa ating ospital. Pangalawa, yung mga empleyadong papasok at ang uuwi, talagang lumulubog sila sa tubig para makapasok at makauwi. Ang iba naman, yung mga, 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 mga sasakyan, problema din kasi inaabot ng baha yung kanilang sasakyan. This is why the German government and Flood Control Asia RS Corporation initiated the Flood Protection Project for COVID referral hospitals in the Philippines. In a press conference held on December 2, 2020, the officials of the Philippine General Hospital, the German Ambassador, Her Excellency Anke ripens Jewel, and the executives of the Flood Control Asia RS Corporation, headed by its president and CEO, Dr. Andreas Klippe, signed the Memorandum of Understanding for the project. German flood control barriers will be set up in the entrances of the hospital so that flooding can be mitigated. On Monday, December 9, 2020, RS engineers formally commence with the flood protection project for the Philippine General Hospital by conducting the engineering assessment for the said hospital. In an interview with Flood Control Asia RS Head of Business and Development, Alvin Baking, he said that critical infrastructure like hospitals should be able to operate despite the flood problems outside. In the country, especially here in Metro Manila, uh, PGH is the most uh, co uh, considered as the COVID center. So it caters to a lot of areas to handle the COVID patients and also the testing and everything related to COVID. So it is best that this hospital is also protected from the flood. No? How can the hospital operate or continue its operation and serve the country for the COVID patients if the hospital is flooded? So that is uh, why this hospital is being considered as uh, one of the top hospitals to be protected. As one of the initial steps of the project, RS engineers first identified the flood-prone areas of the Philippine General Hospital so they can provide optimum solutions with the use of German flood solution systems. After this uh, engineering assessment, uh, perhaps it will take around two, uh, two or three days uh, to do all these things. Um, we'll be going back to our office, to our, to our drawing board, and to check all the uh, findings that we had. And then, of course, we will. Be, the next step is to create a suitable plan and also the system to be used so that uh, the flood barriers will work as intended and will not hamper the operations of the hospital. After the engineering assessment, RS engineers will create a detailed engineering plan and eventually install the required flood protection barriers. The project is expected to be completed on April 30, 2021.